Well, boys, do you remember before the mother in law left, I went up in the bedroom where she was staying at up in the spare room, and she had a card there for me, right? A thankful card. And said, I want to thank you for letting me stay here and everything, right? Oh, there's something behind that. In that card, there was one year cleaning service for me. Once a week, cleaning lady comes in, spends two or three hours here in the house, do a bit of cleaning. Now, I don't know why she thinks that I need to clean hair in the house, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. So needless to say, the day was the day, right? I wasn't expecting nobody to come by here now today. I in the kitchen, do me cooking and cleaning and everything else. Next thing you know, his doorbell rings. No, I never answers the door. If I don't expect you, I ain't answering no door. Because it's usually somebody that's going to be selling something. Anyways, I looks up like this. And I think she's seen me, see? So I had no other choice but to go to the door then. I comes on out and opens the door. This little old lady is standing there saying, Hello, this is Gertrude. I'm here to clean your house from top to bottom. Now, I got on the phone with the mother-in-law after that. And I said, listen. I said, how come you didn't tell me somebody was coming by here today? I said, I never even had a chance to clean up or nothing. And I said, here she is, the poor old woman coming in here and cleaning the house with that bottom. I said, I don't want her down on her hands and knees. What am I supposed to be doing in the meantime, standing there watching her? And she said, no, she said, you can go wherever you wants to go. She said, leave her there. She said, and she can clean the whole place for you. She said, Gertrude, she said, is a sweetheart. I said, she could be a sweetheart all she wants. Like, it's not like I don't trust her or anything or think she's going to take anything. But I said to her, I don't want to end up going to no supermarket and coming back home and seeing a poor old 80-year-old Gertrude dead on me floor. I said, she looks like she just come from an old age home. I said, where did you get her at? I said, I don't feel very good about having her bending down on her hands and knees, cleaning me tall at me tub and everything. And then, you know, what's going to happen after that, don't you? She's going to get on the phone and report back to the mother in Oh, you should have seen the state of her toilet. So I sat Gertrude down and I said to her, I said, listen here, my darling, don't you be feeling that you've got to clean this house from top to bottom? I said, you don't need to be at it. Now, the mother in laws paying for it anyway, so I don't care if the old lady goes out and sits out on the front step. I don't care about that, right? I said to her, I said, do as minimal as possible. I said, I don't want you down on your hands and knees or anything, can't get back up. So then, of course, I was asking Gertrude, I said, what got you into this anyways? I said, are you just doing this to fill in your time or what? And she said, well, I tell you now, she said, when I got out of prison 10 years ago, she said, I need to find a job, something to make a bit of money. She said, because I need a place to stay. So I told her, I said, back up a little bit. Did you just say that you got out of prison about 10 years ago? I said, what were you in prison for? And she said she was in prison for fraud. She never said what kind of fraud or anything, but I can only imagine what kind of fraud. Now that mother in law, I'm telling you, she'd get anything to come in here and they say, oh, she don't give two shit, she don't. Actually, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to call the old age home here in town to see if they're missing somebody because I don't know, there's something weird about this one. Uh, hello? Yes, is this the old age home? Yes, um, have you been missing anybody lately or? Oh, I don't know, she's about 80 years old, I suppose, and five foot two. Nobody missing? When was the last time you checked the rooms? Okay. Nobody's missing there. Oh my God, perhaps I should call the prison, should I? There's somebody probably missing, for God's sake, in the prison. Oh, there she goes. Huh? I come out, my dear, and I said to Gertrude, Gertrude, where did you pack it? I said, I don't see no care or nothing out there. She goes, no, she says, I got me bike, she said. I said, well, where did you put all your supplies? And she said, in the basket on the bike. So I told her, I said, leave your basket of goodies here. Never mind dragging him every time he comes here every week. Anyways, now that she's gone, I'm going to go have a look and see what she got done. Oh, yeah, she looks like she did all right, Mom. Oh, my sweet honorable. Yeah, Gertrude, did you make it home all right? This is the lady's house she just left my love. You did some cleaning here for me. Yes, yeah. Listen, did you take everything with you that you were supposed to take with you? Like personal belongings and stuff? Oh, what about your dentures? Yeah, well, I don't suppose you hear in your mouth during my toilet, my love. Well, my goodness, you must have been scrumming some hard for them teeth fell in your head. <gasps> yeah, see, you gotta watch out for that, see. <gasps> yeah. <gasps> Yeah, well, I just yanked him out there. I'll have him there for you for next time. I tell you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to soak him in a bit of Jebex overnight and get him clean for you. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, they'll be sitting here for you for next time. I'll cover him up and everything. Yeah.